What's new in the 24th January 2021 build of Fluidrom version 1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you what is new in the 24th January 2021 build of Fluidrom version 1.1 based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now in case you want to have a look at the previous build and the features of that, the video for that can be found in the description of this video. This build security patch is from January 2021. Kernel they are using is Fluid Extended and SE Linux of course is set as Enforcing. Now the first change they have done is that they have added a tile for FPS. So here it is, FPS counter and bam on the top left you can see that we do have a fps counter here it is on your screen right now and of course you can tap on it one more time to disable the fps counter next up they have added some new accent colors so if you go into settings fluid customization accent color the new colors which they have added are pixel blue and here it is this is how pixel blue looks like the next one they have added is one plus red here it is you have a preview on the top as well but here is how the color looks like and yes you do have the blur and zoom effect when you access your quick settings now unfortunately as per the developer of fluid rom they are not going to implement the quick settings media controls so these are the media controls which you are going to get with fluid rom next up they have also added pocket mode detection so if you go into settings fluid customization and then if you go into lock screen here it is the last option pocket detection so it is going to block screen inputs when it detects that the device is inside your pocket thereby saving you some battery and another thing i would like to mention is that have a look at that smooth animation when you switch between the different options and the option which is active right now is also highlighted in the accent color as you can see on your screen right now then if you go into extras they also have a toggle to enable signature spoofing this is going to allow applications to bypass security systems by pretending to be a different application mainly used or for use by those of you who run micro g on your android devices then they have also moved the blur ui option to display so if you go into display here it is enable blurs it is going to enable blur in some ui elements does require a device reboot but as you can see we do have the blur and zoom effect working like a boss because we do have the toggle enabled next up if you go into display and enable dark theme here it is let us enable dark theme and then we can go back into fluid customization bam primary theme option has been enabled and with this build they have added the dark gray and the pitch black theme as well and here it is you can see the preview on this window here this is how dark gray is going to look like and this is how pitch black is going to look like everything is black so it is pretty nifty that you do get a preview when you change the theme without having to go through the whole system ui next up they have also added support for two button navigation so if you go into settings system gestures system navigation bam here it is two button navigation in case you want to use this me personally i prefer gesture navigation and yes you should have the option to hide the gesture bar there it is unfortunately you do not have an option to hide this back arrow but let us hope that this option is implemented soon in this rom as well then if you go into accessibility and in accessibility you can look for vibration and haptic strength here it is you can configure the strength of the vibration for ring notification and touch your options are high medium low and off next up in terms of fod you do not have screen of fod but the fod on this rom is pretty good and pretty fast you also have 
face unlock which works without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine no jitters no lags live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work you do need to be either in a specific country or you need to have youtube premium next up we can check for hey google but before that make sure it is enabled so we'll go into settings apps and notification default apps digital assistant app make sure it is set as google go into settings voice match it is enabled let us try it hey google can you listen to me so as you can see on your screen right now hey google seems to be working with the screen on let us try it with the screen off hey google are you working well it looks like hey google is not going to work with the screen off but as you can see it does work with the screen turned on then we can check for prime video hd playback so drm info application and as you can see l1 in the building next up let us open prime video and continue watching this movie so as you can see on the timeline there is no hd besides the timeline which means no hd playback unfortunately and i think there's something wrong with xiaomi and poco which is causing this issue next up we can open the google photos application and check if we have the portrait light feature or not so let us try to edit this wait for this bar to load and go into adjust bam here it is portrait light in the building working like a boss without any issues then we can check for safety net so here it is as you can see my device is not rooted right now i have only installed magisk manager to check for safety net and as you can see on your screen right now safety net is passing which means you should be able to use your banking apps we can also open the play store and check whether our device is certified or not so here it is play protect certification device is certified should be good to go for your banking apps without any issues in terms of app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see there are no jitters and no lags everything is pretty smooth in terms of your recents again everything is smooth no jitters no lags select feature works like a boss let us access the google feed there it is no jitters no lags everything is super fast and super smooth try to switch between a few applications again no jitters no lags everything seems to be working without any issues so there it is peeps that is what was new in the 24th january 2021 build of fluid rom version 1.1 based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome See you when I see you.